Hello! It is Sunday. It is Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to anyone that feels it applies to them. I don't care what you're a mother of or not a mother of. If you want to be wished well on this day, I am wishing you well. Alright! Are you ready for today's Daily Tarot? Uh, the journal exercise was an interesting one. It was one that was not so personal. Well, I mean, they're all personal, but it wasn't too personal for me to share. It was also a long one. So this is probably going to be a longer video. Let's get started. Alright, Whimsical Arcane Challenge. Our word for the day is motherhood. Makes sense. It's Mother's Day, right? Uh, I actually drew the Dragon of Swords, and again, I will remind you that in the description box, there will be a link to my blog post on my website about this, and you can see the pictures of the cards up close, because I know they don't, they don't show up well on the camera. Um, so I suggest that you open that and go look at the cards while you listen. That would be perfect. I'll wait a moment for you to do that. All right, I'm tired of waiting. <laughs> so, in this deck, I've probably explained before, dragons are equivalent to kings in most traditional decks. This deck is not traditional, though. So, uh, it's not just this that's changed. Um, what I got for motherhood for this, this dragon uses his knowledge to lead people. Um, so that they can implement their ideas and gain more knowledge themselves. So I see that as a parallel to motherhood and what mothers do with their children, you know, trying to get them ready for the world, to go out into the big scary world. Um, so I definitely see some parallels with motherhood here. I was kind of surprised when I first drew it, I was like, King of Swords, like, but then it just clicked, so. All right, um, next. The May Elements Challenge. So we've moved into the fire element. Um, we're going to have six days in fire. It'll be fiery few days, so several days. I don't, I don't know what the word would be for six. Almost a week. Um, so the prompt for today um, along the theme of fire is where does my motivation come from? So the fire element is all about passion and drive and motivation and, and that kind of thing. So. Where does the motivation come from? Well, I drew the Knight of Swords from my Mystic Dreamers Tarot. You can see he is ready for action, right? Um, that horse is moving. He's got his sword drawn. He is ready. So my motivation comes from my desire to do something, to take action, to move towards my goals. And much like this knight here, I don't tend to wait around. Um, I prefer to get started immediately, you know. If I have an idea, I'm going to do it. Um, if it's an idea that scares me out of my comfort zone, I might wait a little bit. But once I convince myself to do it, I go full on. So that is my motivation. Alright, what's next? The major challenge. So the major challenge was based on temperance. Um, you can see Temperance here, beautiful card in the Mystic Dreamers deck, I feel. But I feel most of the cards in the deck are beautiful, so. Uh, and it is share an image that represents balance, too. So pretty simple. Um, I actually chose an image of the yin-yang. Um, I'll, I'll stick one up here in case you don't know what it looks like. So it'll be around in here. Somewhere. Around here. Maybe. Um, I'm pretty sure most people know what it looks like. To me, that image has always represented balance. Balance between darkness and light. Shadow and, and light. Uh -huh. I, I don't even really look at it as a balance between good and evil because I don't look at dark as evil. Um, but just darkness and light. I feel like it shows a balance between those and I think that's, um, that's very interesting. So. That, that symbol has always represented balance to me. There's plenty of others that represent balance as well, but that's the first one that popped into my head. Um, ah, my daily draw. Well, this was fun. 
Two days ago, we talked about me drawing for my house of night, wisdom in the house of night, or wisdom of the house of night. I always want to change it to in the house of night instead of of the house of night. I don't know why. Um, and I drew the oath card, and so I picked up that deck again today. I shuffled. I shuffled so much. Same card. Oath. So... My feeling on this is, um, this card is about keeping promises, getting rid of people in your life that don't keep promises, um, but it was also about making a promise to yourself to be kind, loving, honorable, gentle, all of that to yourself. And I'm thinking maybe I haven't done that to satisfaction yet. So I think this is a little reminder for me, do it. Alright. And last and longest is the journal exercise. So I drew the two of pentacles today. What it looks like in my gothic deck. Journal prompt. How do you create balance in your busy life and how do you manage, especially when the responsibility is on you? So I find this a really interesting question um, because I'm on a short-term disability leave due to my chronic migraines. And there are people that are under the impression that when someone is on a medical leave like this, like me, that that means uh, they're doing jack shit. Like, you know, they're watching TV, laying around on the couch, um, playing games if they're like a video gamer or something like I am. Um, that kind of thing. And that's not true at all. Like, I actually rarely have time to play video games. I really do. So, it's hard sometimes though for me to explain to people what I do during my day. And I actually just realized I left something out of this, what I typed up on my Instagram post and what will be on my blog. So I hope you're listening. Um, I am very busy on a day-to-day -day basis. Like, very busy. Um, if anything screws up my day, like getting a migraine, and I have to like actually take a nap, you know, because of it or something, or if I'm just like really exhausted and I need to take a nap, or, hey, whew. all right, sorry, or like went to my dad's house the other day um, for a few hours, you know, if we have to go grocery shopping and run errands, anything, it puts me behind on the things I do every day. So here's some things I do every day. I do my daily tarot draws and challenges, you know that. But in addition to doing them, I also make a video about them. So that takes more time. Then I have to edit that video and post that video, that takes more time. I actually didn't mention the videos at all, that's the part I left out. In addition to that, I have a vlog channel on YouTube that I also post on every day. So um, I record for it daily, I edit it I edit the previous days though, whereas with this channel I edit it the same day. Um, but I edit and post those too. That takes time. Um, I meditate every day. Uh, I spend time on my spiritual needs every day. Um, I do a lot of research, like a lot of research. A lot of it's related to health. Um, you know, I'll have something pop up. Targeted ads are great, man. I get a lot of ads on Facebook and Instagram that are related to migraines. I actually do. So anything that comes up that seems like something I don't know about migraines or I don't know a lot about, I'm, I'm going to the article and reading it and then I'm looking for other sources to back it up depending on what the source is, you know. Um, if it's like the Mayo Clinic, I'm probably not going to go somewhere to back that up because I figure they know what they're doing. They're the Mayo Clinic. But if it's some place I've never heard of, I'm going to start doing some Googling and see if I can find that same information on other sites. Um, so I do a lot of research. Um, I do research related to my tarot business. You know, what's the, what's the best kind of marketing for me going to be right now? What's the best platform to market on? Who do I target? Um, you know, is my website good? Do I need to tweak some things? Do I need to make it more welcoming? Do I need to add more pictures? Um, so there's that type of research too. Uh, I also um, 
read several books. I, I didn't put that in this either, so you won't see that in the blog post or Instagram post either. Um, but I have books. Um, I'm generally always have one I'm reading related to like spiritual or just health in general, and then one related to tarot. So like right now, I'm still working on Tarot for Life by Paul Quinn and Crazy Sexy Diet by Chris Carr because I don't get a lot of time to read. Um, I have to make phone calls all the time in relation to my disability. I have to call the disability company. I have to call my HR department at work. I have to call doctors. I have to stay on top of everyone. You know, was this faxed? Okay, did you get this fax? Does it have the information you need? Like, am I approved yet? Huh. That's a tough one for me lately. Um, let's see. I already mentioned that I work on my online tarot business, of course, that I started recently. Um, because I just started it, though, there's a lot of, like, tweaking and changes. Like, I recently added some information to, I think this was just yesterday, yesterday, um, I added some information to more like tell potential clients what I use tarot for, what I like to use tarot for, um, which is basically self-improvement. That's the biggest thing I like to use it for. That's the part I'm passionate about. That's why I want to do it. I want to help people improve their lives and their selves and, you know, whatever it is they want to work on. If they're a spiritual person and they want to improve their spirituality, cool, let's do it. If they're not a spiritual person and they just want to work on, you know, being a better person or whatever, that's awesome too. Um, I, I, I'll go either way there. Like, I'm not, I'm spiritual, but in my own way. Like, nobody else is going to be spiritual the same way I am, so I don't care if the people that are my clients are spiritual or not. It's not a big deal. You can still do self-development and self-improvement. Um, Either way. So I tried to put some stuff on my website that kind of tells a little bit more about what I like to use tarot for and what I want to use it for with my clients. Uh, you know, we're not, we're not guessing lottery numbers or <laughs> a horse is going to win at the races or something like that. So um, I actually run a couple of Facebook groups. I also moderate one tarot group. Um, I try to make sure and always include downtime in my day where I can just relax. So like I have YouTubers I'm subscribed to that I like to watch their videos. I have some tarot YouTubers. I have some like um, makeup YouTubers because I like to watch a lot of makeup videos. Um, a couple of vloggers I watch. Um, things like that. So I try to keep up on that stuff so I'm not missing any of their videos. Um, and I don't consider that a time waster. Because like I said, everybody needs downtime in their day to just kind of relax and enjoy things, right? Um, I keep an eye on like the checking and savings account pretty much on a daily basis. Really the only days I don't check them is Sunday and Monday because the night before nothing went through because banks are closed. But Tuesday through Saturday, I check the bank. Especially as, as chaotic as things have been since I've been on disability. Uh, or short-term disability. So, I do a lot every day. Most of that stuff is done every single day. The way I keep a balance is I've basically made like a loose schedule. Like, um, for example, like 10, 10, 10 a.m. to noon um, is sort of when I scheduled in tarot. Doesn't always work like that. Uh, it's 1 p.m. right now. That's why I call this a loose schedule. It has to be adaptable and changeable. The main reason I made a schedule though um, is that it makes sure I don't spend too much time on any one thing. Even if I'm not following my schedule exactly, which I don't think there's been a day I've done that yet, it still reminds me to do things like, okay, you've spent enough time on this subject, let's move on and do this, you know, so you're not spending too much on one thing. So that's why I made like a loose schedule. I need some sort of organization. Otherwise I'll get like lost in YouTube or something. I'll spend like all day tweaking my business website, you know. Neither one of those are good. Um, for responsibility, when I read the question of um, 
how do you manage especially when the responsibility is on you that made me think of like household responsibilities so my husband and I oh sorry my husband and I split household responsibilities so he takes on most of the physical responsibilities so carrying out the trash doing the dishes vacuuming um, making the bed. He does most of that kind of stuff, um, basically because I can't. Um, I, I've always had back problems anyway, but ever since I got rear-ended last summer, um, my back's been worse. Like, the other day he was, um, cleaning our litter box. Like, we keep it, like, scooped, always, but then every once in a while we just dump it out and start, you know, with a fresh batch of litter, obviously. So we were doing that, so he'd moved it from the spot it normally sits in, and then the cats cannot keep litter in the box, so there was litter in the floor around it, so I got the vacuum cleaner out just to kind of vacuum that little area, like maybe a four foot square area. Um, when I sat back down on my desk after doing that, I immediately started getting muscle spasms in my back. Hey Ashley, you wanna say hi? So... And that's something that never happened before the car accident. Um, and then the whole next day, every once in a while, I would get muscle spasms too. So just from trying to vacuum like a four foot square area, it was really bad for my back. So that's why Daniel takes care of the physical things. Oh, hi. Ashley's saying hi. Um, and then I take care of the non-physical things. I do usually do the laundry. Laundry's not bad. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt me. Um, he will often help me though, you know, like if I have a big load of clothes that I'm going to hang up, like, you know, we'll both work on it. He'll grab a bunch of hangers and we'll both be like putting stuff on hangers and then stick them all in the closet and everything. So, um, but I handle, other than laundry, I basically handle the non-physical stuff. So I budget, I, I do our budget, I pay our bills. I'm the one that checks our checking account. Um, I'm the one who determines, you know, we have this much we can spend on groceries this week. Or, you know, we really want to take a night and just go get something. Even at somewhere cheap like IHOP. We just want to kind of get out the house and go have a meal together. So I'm the one that figures out, is this something we can do? Is this going to make money too tight? Can we actually afford this? <laughs> what high of a caliber, of like a type of restaurant can we afford? You know, or are we going to do fast food? <laughs> We're going to Taco Bell. Um, so like I handle basically the money side of things, um, and you know, all any other like electronic type or bill type transactions. So, you know, like when our apartments, um, are like, Hey, it's time to renew your lease. And like, so I handle all that kind of stuff. Neither one of us though, does either of those things completely by ourselves. Um, I talk to him about the bills, he talks to me about the cleaning, you know, we determine what needs to be done, we'll make like a to-do list for the day, you know, on like the days he is off, so it'll be like vacuuming, and dishes, and like run the dishwasher, and laundry, which is mine, and you know, like there'll be just like a whole long list, and some of it's mine, and some of it's his, and we'll talk about it. Um, we always work together on stuff as much as we can, um, and to try to share responsibilities. Um, my biggest issue is I feel like when it comes to the physical stuff, I'm completely useless. Like, I can't do it. I can't stand in front of a sink and wash dishes. Um, I can't vacuum, obviously. Uh, I can't handle making the bed, like, and it does make me feel useless sometimes, but Daniel is really good about reminding me <laughs> that I handle the other stuff and, you know, that I do a lot in that sense. So. Uh, he's amazing. We have a great relationship and a great marriage. Um, we share responsibilities. So I never feel like I'm overly burdened on responsibilities ever. So. Alright. I have talked enough. <laughs> I am going to let you go on about your day now. Um, I wish you love and light. Uh, I hope you have an amazing week coming up. Um, you know, and the moon always guides you. It sounds cheesy, but I like it anyway. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video. Thank you so much for joining me.